they're really big for the trail, but people do it. And okay. Uh, yeah, go for it. Um, can I pay for both of ours? You sure can. Yeah, it's two dollars each, so it's four bucks for the three. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll break that. All right. People do it. It's done. It's been done, but yeah, not ideal rigs for out there. Yeah, yeah. People do it. Yeah, six bucks and change. You guys want the map? Yes, please. All right. So yeah, there's. Do I have to keep this somewhere? Just have it handy. That's just where. That's a great spot for it. But yeah, you don't need it to display or anything. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You betcha. You guys have fun out there. Enjoy it. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Oh, well. Well, eventually. <laughs> yeah, not right now. But Some other day, maybe. Yeah. Some other day. Thanks, man. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Adventure Jeff 269 YouTube channel. We're out here in Moab, Utah today. Me and Sawyer took a big trip out there, probably the biggest riding trip I've ever been on. So we got a bunch of badass footage coming. Um, this video and the next two will all be Utah, Moab, just awesome stuff. So in this video, we're riding oh, yeah, Slick Rock, um, and also we ride some of Arches National Park. And then there, at the way at the end, there's just some random uh, pictures and videos from our first campsite. Yeah. We dispersed we camp the entire week that we were yeah, out there. Um, so. Big change of scenery, terrain, everything. You know, we're from Michigan, dirt, trees, woods, no major elevation like this. You get down. hill climbs, but nothing wild. Um, and so we were just uh, in awe the whole time. We loved it, the views were crazy, and uh, just awesome riding trip. So here we go, we'll get into uh, Slick Rock here. All right, we let some faster traffic pass through here. So the reason we picked Slick Rock for our first ride was because it was designed in the 1950s for kids on Honda Trail 90s, I believe. We figured walk in the park, no big deal. Easy first ride, warm up to Moab. But it was fairly technical. There was parts that were a little bit tricky. We did not do the full loop. We did do the practice loop and part of the main loop. And then we eventually bailed out on a trail called Hell's Revenge. It was a four x four in Jeep trail. And that was pretty fun too, actually. So I don't have footage of everything either. Um, we had one down, I didn't get that on footage. Uh, also, camera started overheating really bad. It wasn't all that hot, but the sun and GoPro's overheating issues that they've always had. So, drop me some comments if you guys know of a good action camera. I'm looking to switch it up. I think maybe I'm going the DJI route, but drop me comments, pros and cons, or whatever you guys got. And check out these views. pulling over. I gotta make sure my GoPro is recording and take some pictures. Big views, big views. So I'll explain this trip a little bit. Uh, me and Sawyer, sort of last minute, we only planned this ride like a few weeks ago. I had to finish my enclosed trailer real quick. We had an overlanding setup being built in there uh, while I was building. And Sawyer came over and helped me expedite that process a little bit. We got, I mean, it's dialed in now. We got beds, hot showers. We ate well, cooked good food, drank. Uh, we had everything good to go. We didn't stay in a hotel not one night. Um, so saved a ton of money on room and board there transported the two bikes all the you know all of our gear no big deal um, drove back and forth from Kalamazoo, Michigan, so Long drive, uh, you know diesel prices being what they are we spent a little bit of money on fuel But the prices the money we saved on eating out and everything we only ate out one time um, And we did not pay for any room and board so we saved tons of money on that and we had an amazing trip so it was a quick trip, one week out and back. We took the adventure bike so we could ride as much of Moab as possible. Uh, we wanted to ride street, two track, on road, off road, everything. And so this is what we brought. We ended up riding White Rim coming up. I'll have videos of that. Um, we rode 128, Castle Valley, the, around the whole LaSalle Mountains. We camped in the LaSalle Mountains. We just, we just rode all over Arches, Canyonlands, the whole deal. So we, we think these were the best bikes for us to bring. Um, a slightly better bike would maybe be a lighter weight dual sport maybe 450 500 something like that but we may do with these adventure bikes we rode the whole white rim and all that and it was amazing so we didn't see any other adventure bikes off-road at all we saw a couple of adventure bikes in moab but nothing off-road it was uh, strictly smaller bikes typically so that made us feel pretty badass and uh 
anyways we had a blast there's gonna be some people we met coming up in this video you're gonna see a gentleman on a TW 200 who's a Moab ninja uh, it's wearing loafers you know he ain't sweating nothing just out here tour guide and helped us out uh, tremendously so thanks to that gentleman if you see the video also we met three dudes on dirt bikes uh, we rode with them a little bit went through a couple obstacles they ended up um, ailing with us onto the Hell's Revenge Trail, and we rode out of there together. Uh, so, pleasure meeting you guys and riding with you. Good luck to you. Okay, hopefully this video uh, helps anybody who's thinking about coming out and riding this trail. Hopefully I can uh, show you as best the type of terrain that you'll be riding on that I have with this footage. Uh, I'm gonna let this play for a little while, uh, let the interactions kind of happen throughout the ride, and let, let the viewers kind of experience how it goes and I will jump back into the video later. It's a little tricky right that one switchback. Yeah. Is he gonna go for it? I think he might walk it down. I don't know yet. Oh man. He's he's pretty good, so yeah. I think he'll be alright. I think if he just went for it, but he yeah. can't see what he's yeah. he can't he's, see the he wants to look it over and I don't blame him. No, me either. Yeah. You, you yeah. can just tell by all the scratch marks that people kind of fuck it up, so right. Oh, 
Not too bad. <laughs> oh, shit. That's so heavy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Those are probably like 250. Uh -huh. so those are like 500. Oh no, okay. Yeah. Are you gonna make it? <laughs> we'll find out. More power than making, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Guess no, now. No pressure. <laughs> now's as good a time as any. Big bikes putting in work. Me and Sawyer both cruised right through that. Uh, I don't have footage of his like right there, the camera overheated. So I don't have anything past that. None of the Hell's Revenge trail or anything, unfortunately. So again, drop me some comments on adventure cams. I'm gonna buy something new. I'll share that with you guys. And stay tuned for the second and third videos uh, in this little series of Moab. Hope you guys enjoy the pictures and the videos. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. See you next time.